So my um my my father John Southgate, who um was a pioneering psychotherapist, uh, he he once had a um a, an event called jazz and psychoanalysis, and it was very popular, and it, it got me to thinking about um doing these video pieces, uh, so they're um like a video blog of um ambient music and ambient piano and talking about science stuff and other things so um yeah my website's uh, not up at the moment so if you want to look at my work go to leonsouthgate.blogspot.co.uk or .com anyway you'll find it so we'll um, have some music <laughs> I've been thinking a lot recently about um, simulation theory and um, uh, particularly a, a guy called Jason Brescia. He, he spent nearly 20 years in prison and during that time he, he um, says he got access to uh, books that were kept in the basements of um, the Texas prison system and a lot of history books from the 1800s and 1900s and they got him onto studying history in a lot of detail and he he said he found a periodicity of 138 years uh, and of something called the phoenix event and that because this periodicity was so rigid he thought well that can't happen in a kind of newtonian universe that like this Phoenix event happens every 138 years in May, even when the calendar changed, when our year changed length, it still stayed in May. So he, he got to thinking that it was, um, that we're living in a simulation because of this. And that, that got me to studying the very interesting background history he talks about and how that coincides with the pyramid and uh, the shapes of the pyramid and other things. But um, yeah, I want to talk a little bit about simulation theory from a like an orgone energy kind of ether point of view. So we'll have a little bit more music first. Mm -hmm. So simulation theory, it, it kind of says, well, particularly Jason Brashears of Archaix, A-R-C-H-A-A-I-X um, dot com, uh, particularly his take on it, uh, he, he sees um, us as being imprisoned as eternal, eternal beings, but we happen to have got imprisoned in a, in a, a sort of, a holographic reality uh, in on this earth and um, and in this holographic reality there's this reset every 138 years to stop the um, evil elements taking over completely so he he looks at it as being controlled by something he calls AIX but uh, this is actually pretty much the same as a demiurge because you can, you, 
I, I believe AI is going to, conscious AI or deep AI is, is already or will be a, a real thing. But it also is a, um, a wrong term, AI. Because there's no such thing as artificial intelligence. Like when when two people, not for the main reasons usually stated, but if two people create a um, a child, they're they're not saying, well, that child's artificial because we created it. The the um, we're we're um, we're gods creating an artificial life. You just created the right circumstances for that conscious being to come into this type of world and the, the same thing is true of um, computers like there, there will be silicate life I think there is already um, but that doesn't mean we create it. we can't create consciousness but God is consciousness and God maintains and creates all the consciousness in the universe if if we make a computer that's capable of supporting sentient life then that, that's just um, fortuitous circumstances. So um, AIX is another way in that case of just saying the demiurge, really. So, and this also goes to holography. Um, maybe I'll save holography and um, from a bioenergy point of view for the next, the next lot. I'll, I'll just do a little bit more music. Thank mm -hmm. saying oh we're in a simulation but what is a simulation a, a, a simulation is just a part of reality the, the, the only reality is defined by that which we experience so if we if we're experiencing a certain realm then it's not fake or a simulation it, it's it's real it's just contained and every reality apart from God's reality is contained in some way. Um, and it, it, if you say there is a, a hologram, we're in a, we're, we're in a holographic simulation. Well, what's a holographic simulation actually made of? Well, it's made of energy. And then we can ask, what is energy made of? And energy is made of consciousness. It actually literally is made of consciousness. If you take um, George W. F. Hegel, the, the probably the one of the greatest philosophers, it, he as well as his dialectics, which most people are familiar with, or a lot of people are, it, he also was a, a very ha, had the best ontology I can, which means a theory of being. So he he talk about something called um, was it ultimate mind um, but it's actually a, um, a mind substance so he, he thinks the whole universe is one singular mind substance that is actually physically real that's another thing people often get mixed up is the word physical and material they're both um, uh, uh, material means something kind of made up of atoms but the only way to measure something physical is it if um if we experience it like uh, I, I experience this piano and someone else experiences this piano so we can say it's physical so physical is just a shared continuing experience but um to go back to holography um so from a um, Jason Brashear, he's saying, well, it doesn't make sense this repeating pattern happen, happening so rigidly. 
but it, it could if there was a universal mind imposing, or not a universal mind, but a, a mind imposing itself on this particular portion of the, the conscious energy, um, energy realm. So uh, just like in, in the, um, um, the uh, what, what's that effect called where you get um, uh, people's Mandela effect? So like when the mind of the whole planet changes, uh, every, everyone's copy of, uh, of the movie changes or of, of the, the book or the passage in the Bible that people remember differently, it's all the same in everyone's copy. It's like um, we live in a fluid, conscious, uh, a conscious substance that's fluid um, and not a mechanical universe. So if, if, the, if the mind that is strongest in this, on this planet has, has decided to impose a, 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 a kind of repetition every hundred and... Um, what is it, 138 years, Jason reckons, um, and then every so often a, 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 a bigger version of that Phoenix event occurs, but um, you, that could still happen without us being in a simulation. I mean, the Hindus and the Buddhists believe the whole, the whole of this 3D universe with all the gods and aliens and humans and whatever in it is all uh, in a sense that the, the entire thing is a this entire realm could be a, a simulation in one sense but that that, that is misusing the word because it's just another way of saying that we we're in a fluid conscious substance reality um, so um, that's my take on that so I've been thinking about that a lot, and I, I've also been thinking about um, whether nuclear weapons and, uh, are, are as real as they say, because NATO and doesn't seem to be particularly bothered about possibly sparking things off with Russia, um, seeing as that they're, they're um, doing everything they can to provoke Russia. Um, so you can have a look at my blog, blogspot, leonsouthgate.blogspot, and read that article there. Um, and I, I've also got another article on whether we're in a farm or a prison, a farm or a civilization. And because um, we, we don't live how, how we would want to naturally, I think. Uh, we don't live as the kind of being that we're we're more like a farmed sort of animal. Anyway, I shall play some more music. Um, <laughs>
started um, inspired by some um, uh, good articles on on organ biology that have come up on the um, uh, the JPOT journal, Journal of Psychiatric Orgone Therapy, which you can find at psychorgone.com, P S Y C H orgone, and um, there uh, there's a good article there on um, the right blood test and um, looking at uh, how cells um, looking at cells alive and and living and how they break down and that shows how uh, their energy charge um, anyway the, that inspired me to um, think about um, biomes which are little micro vesicles that um, can form when um, either living cells break down uh, into biomes and but also uh, inanimate matter breaks down into biomes which made me realize that there's a missing area from um, the um, ex um, exosomes so the the exosomal theory or terrain theory versus the um, germ theory is uh, people have been talking a lot about about that uh, like people like Dr. Kaufman and Dr. Lanker um, but uh, it, it made me realize that Reich's Wilhelm Reich's bion process is actually an exosomal process outside of the body though bions can be created inside the body so I've written an article uh, comparing exosomes and, and viruses and that that's also on my blog leonsouthgate.blogspot so um yeah have a have a look at that it talks about the relationship between um viruses bions exosomes and and terrain theory versus um germ theory you know, one of the useful things in it is it also that there's about half a dozen other people like biology is massively suppressed uh, there's two things in biology that very suppress a biogenesis or creation of living cells from non-living matter which right showed with bions and also biogenesis is massively suppressed which is creation of new smaller living forms from bigger living forms uh, and vice versa so um yeah have a have a look at that uh, on my um blog as well and i think we should play out with a little blues perhaps <laughs> I think we should play out with some ambient as we started. We can be like Jason Brashear's return of the um, vapor canopy. Uh, that's coming back in 2040 apparently. I don't 
necessarily disagree with um, archaics. Uh, it's the um, I might take a different um, take on the simulation theory, but um, I don't know enough about the history yet to say whether the periodicity is true, but it, it might be. Well, the other thing I noted was um, the um, Jason criticizes the um, the Old Testament God again. Another um, similarity with Gnosticism, AIX being the demiurge, perhaps. But um, if, as Jason notes, um, Moses wasn't actually a real character and the events didn't occur as stated, then um, the, the the genocides in in um, it, in some of the genocides, at least in the Old Testament, were um, apocryphal or storytelling in that case. But it, it, it is, if you have a look at um, the sadly deceased, recently deceased organ scientist, James Demia, if you have a look at his um, Saharasia work, he, um, uh, he, he showed how, uh, uh, as the matriarchal societies um, imploded around uh, beginning about 4000 BC according to his narrative then um, which he did for his PhD the, um, the, the, the rising patriarchal um, nomads were pretty pretty destructive so um, the Old Testament charts that um, period to some extent perhaps. from it.